Hello all, welcome to Narasha Technologies. This is Vikram. So, today we are going to discuss about AngularJS single page applications. Okay. So, in AngularJS, if you want to create single page applications, we need to depend on or we need to use uh, another module called ng route module. Okay. So, ng route, so, so far uh, first let us discuss about the core module. So, we so far we used just angular.js. Okay. So, along with angular.js, now we need to import or Im we need to uh, like add angular-route.js file also. Okay. So, angular.js is a core module and angular-route.js is a route module. Okay. Now, when I am adding this particular JS file into my application, I could able to access route ng route module. This module I need to provide as a dependency to my application module. Okay. So, we will create angular dot module and we will provide something like my app. This is our application module. To this module, we need to provide ng route as a dependency module. Okay. Now, when I am adding this dependency called ng route, this ng route module is providing uh, a few directives. I mean, only one directive is there, obviously, a directive and few services. Using this directive and services, we can able to configure the routes and load those routes as a single page application view. Okay. So, the directives are ng iPhone view. Okay. I will let you know, I mean while we are designing our application at uh, that moment, I will explain what exactly this ng view and the services are dollar route, dollar route provider, dollar route params. Okay, these are the services. Okay, now you can observe here dollar route and dollar route provider both having dollar route as common in that. So that means this particular service dollar route and dollar route provider service is implemented as a provider. So if you uh, doesn't have that particular knowledge about the providers, just go back to the my previous sessions and you can see how we can able to create a provider service. Okay, so when we are creating a service as a provider. It will have two references. One is serv I mean, one serv one particular reference or one service we can able to use in our controllers or in other services too. Another service which have the postfix as provider. This service we need to use mandatorily in the config method only. Okay, so these provider services are used to configure some information. Okay, like here, route provider service we are going to use to configure our views or single page application routes. Okay. So, let us start with that and uh, we will see how we can able to create uh, the single page applications. Save it. Okay. So, as usual first we need to import our um, modules like core and uh, our route module. So, both the modules are imported here you can see angular route okay, using npm you can do that npm install angular iPhone route it will download the route module and angular both is there. So, let me import those things I mean both these uh, modules into my application script src is equals to node underscore modules slash angular slash angular dot js script okay src is equals to node underscore modules here it should be angular iphone route then angular iphone route dot js i am using uh, dot js but if you are in production it's better to use dot min dot js minified js it's better to use script so let us create the module and bind the dependency module ng route to our application module angular dot module just give our module name as spa app anything you can give i'm just providing as spa app there and the dependencies we can able to provide as string array. 
So, only one dependency we have here that is ng if ng route. Okay. Now, we are good with our module. Okay. Like this, we need to provide the dependency module to our application module. Now, ng route provided whatever the directives and services we have, all those directives and services are in simple ng route related implementations we can able to access in our SPI app. Okay. Now, as I already said, uh, where ng route is providing a service called route provider, these type of services we can use uh, in our config method only. Okay. So, this ng route related services we can able to use one of the services route provider, this service provider services we can able to use in our config method. So, let us use the config method chain config. Okay. This config method is a default executable method. Okay. So, like other prototypes like we used controller or uh, factory service okay, filter, like other prototypes uh, uh, we do not require to provide any kind of name for this. Okay. So, directly we can provide the function because this config method will get executed before loading of our application. Okay. So, I mean not before loading of our application I can say once the modules are loaded then the config method will execute it uh, automatically and whatever the information you configure that information is going to be utilized by this ng route and remaining modules too. Okay. Now, function. So, as usual here we need to inject dollar route provider service there we go. Okay. Now, this dollar route provider service have a method called when. Okay. When is like uh, a kind of switch case we can say. So, when a, a view should be loaded that we need to provide uh, using this dollar route provider. So, let us provide that dollar route provider dot when. Okay. So, when a view should be loaded for that first we need to create the navigation let me use let me bind the module ng if an app is equals to spa app module binding is done. Now, let me uh, create the navigation diff okay. Okay, a href is equals to we'll later we will do that login or registration okay the second one is just make it as login okay so when i'm clicking on registration registration view should be loaded when i'm clicking on login the same should be loaded now to provide that particular urls we already know that uh, we will uh, make use of uh, the page urls we will provide here but when it comes to uh, single page application configurations, okay, uh, like in CSS we already seen that um, uh, we are uh, uh, what we did is we just created different different divisions. For each division we just provided a unique ID. Okay. So, when I am clicking on a specific anchor tag that uh, anchor related or that ID related division is shown the other divisions are hidden. Okay. Like the same way when we are making the routing in the same page it is better we need to provide hash. Okay. It is also the same only and uh, before and after we have certain changes I mean before uh, uh, 5 and after 5 we have certain changes in route configurations. Before 5 uh, we can provide the routing something like this. Okay, but after phi it is not possible to provide like this because after phi uh, uh, I mean angular is a prefix I mean it is dynamically hash prefixing to your routes. Okay. Further to avoid the specific thing what we can do is it's, we need to put this exclamatory after your hash and before your route like this. Okay. Now, we can able to configure that particular route here. So, the URL we need to use. So, let me make it as register. Okay. So, when I am clicking on this registration this condition should be satisfied and what should be loaded that we need to provide as a JSON object. Okay. What should be loaded that we need to provide as a JSON object. This JSON object have few properties something like template. Okay. Using template 
we can able to load static HTML. Okay, directly you can provide the HTML code. Okay, this is registration page. Okay, anything I am just providing like this. Okay, now like how many uh, routes we have, I mean how many navigations or how many pages you want to load, those many when conditions we need to provide. A minimum of each view should have okay its own route login and here you can say this is login page there we go okay now you can see here we just configured the navigation and we just provided the route information against to the navigation everything is fine here but uh, if you go back to our javascript single page application mechanisms we seen that to load a content we require a container container means a kind of empty uh, element or uh, empty space which can able to carry the content uh, which is dynamically loaded on thinking of a navigation okay to load that particular content or to handle that particular content you just create empty container using div you can able to do that so, using division we can able to create a blank container, but to make it a container we need to use the directive called ng hyphen view. Okay. Let me use the directive ng hyphen view. Okay. Now, so this is my container. Okay. That means um, just make it as line to make everything loaded content as center. There we go. Now, what happens is this is the default container so we can have only one ng view per application so whatever the content you want to load the content need to be pushed into this ng view by your ng route module okay that is the responsibility of ng route module how to identify this directive and uh, how to push the content into the directive that will be taken care by this ng route only we need to we no need to worry about how the operations is happening and everything okay so like this we can able to put the contents together Okay, now let us execute the application and see. So, when I am clicking on the registration, I am getting the uh, registration view and when I am clicking on the login, I will get the login page view. Okay, everything is fine here, so we do not have any kind of issues. Okay, but here the point is if you have a small content, we can able to provide using a template like this, but assume you have a large content something like a, a registration form or um, a login form which contains a lot of uh, HTML code in that. Okay. In that particular case, we cannot able to provide that entire code using the template. Okay. So, what we can do is move that particular code into your external uh, as a external HTML content something like registration form okay, and uh, login form. So, whatever it is there. Now, we can able to load these particular external HTML templates okay, using template URL. Okay. To provide direct HTML code, we can able to use template. If you want to load the external HTML page or external HTML template, we need to use template URL. Okay. My templates I just provided or we can call them as partials also. My templates I just provided or I just kept inside the views folder and the page name is register.htm. Okay, here also the same only make it template URL views slash login.htm. There we go. Okay. Now, what happens? Ajax's uh, mechanism will be utilized by this uh, ng route module and it will create Ajax request to communicate this external templates. It will get that HTML content from the register.htm or login.htm and that particular HTML code will push into this ng view. Okay. Let us see whether it is using that mechanism or not. Okay. Just put a line breaker, horizontal row, reload. Okay. Now, how we can and when we are using something okay uh, like it may be a, a registration uh, so whether it is communicating to the external pages or not okay first to identify that enter okay click on the registration nothing is loading here and here also login nothing is loading it's because 
uh, the Zax concepts we already discussed when we are when uh, when our application is making any kind of a Zax request what we need to do is we need to make that particular application run using any kind of web server because the application when it is a Zax XML HTTP request is a Zax object it cannot able to load file protocol uh, file protocol related com I mean any kind of resources okay because of security reasons. So, what it is saying is uh, this request only supported for protocols like HTTP or HTTP as you can see. So, what we need to do is here we need to run the application our application okay uh, on HTTP server okay. So, let me put the application into a server I am using uh, a lightweight server called HTTP server which is used to run JavaScript applications okay. Let, okay, server is started and it is running on port number 8080. You can use any web app, uh, any web server, it is not mandatory that we need to use uh, my uh, HTTP server only. Okay, there we go, the application is loaded. Now click on the registration, your registration page is there, and click on the login, login page is there. Okay. okay. The point is here when we are uh, doing like this. Uh, uh, so, if, if you want to load only uh, direct HTML content using template, we do not require the server directly we can able to execute the applications. But if you want to load external templates okay, like the HTML content is defined in external pages and you want to load them mandatorily your application uh, need to be accessed using HTTP or HTTPS protocol. That means, your application should run on a web server. Okay. This is in this way we can able to configure single page application views. Okay. In the next session we will learn how we can able to bind the controllers uh, to a single page application views. Thank you. Mm -hmm.